Society is furious that men are waking up and deciding to go their own way. And it made me realize something. A couple, four, five, six videos ago, I made a video type, titled, I simply don't care anymore as a man. And I've been getting a lot of mixed reviews on it. What I noticed is that as a man, when you're going through things, when you have a lot of responsibilities to worry about and the pressure's really on, there's not a soul out there that really cares. Nobody really cares. They let you go out, they tell you to man up and figure it out. But the moment that you stand up and you're like, you know what, I'm done. The moment you say, I'm done with dating, the moment you say, I'm done with marriage, the moment you say, I'm done with living in this country, all of a sudden, all of these people wanna come out the woodworks and say, oh no, bro, you just have to make sure that you're, you're grooming right. You have to make sure that you're, you're in the gym. You have to make sure that you're eating healthy. You have to make sure you're doing all these things that you are probably already doing. But all of a sudden, people start to care. And you think to yourself, do these people actually care about my well-being or do they only care about what it is that I can do for them? And the latter is true because I realized that when you're going through things, nobody really cares. Nobody cares enough. They'll, they'll, they'll say something to you maybe if you get that. But nine times out of 10, people don't really care. It's only when you decide that you're going to take back your time, your attention, your energy and start focusing on yourself instead of them that all of a sudden they want to start caring now. See, when, as a man, when you're getting used up by society, used up by the world, used up by women, used up by whoever, your job, whatever, you're not supposed to realize your true value until your late 60s and 70s when it's a little too late, right? They don't want you to realize that in your 20s. They don't want you to realize that in your 30s. They don't want you to realize that in your 40s and 50s because those are the prime ages of men that we're spending the most time, attention, and energy onto other people. And when you take all of that energy back and you say, you know what, I think I'm going to be focusing on myself, that's when the that's when people start getting in trouble. See, society isn't terrified. They're not furious at the fact that you're deciding to do what's best for you. They're furious at the fact that you're deciding to do what's best for you and you're no longer sacrificing yourself for them. That's where the issue is. That's where I have a problem with because again, there are people, I get so many review or so many uh, comments on my videos, some po mostly positive, some people sharing their story, and of course, the few negative comments. There's negative comments that I get from women that'll say something like, oh, good, we didn't want you anyway. Oh, good, you're not attractive or good. All this other stuff. And I think to myself, I say, why is she so offended by that? Why are they offended by that? Because I got another comment from a woman. She said, I, I, I applaud you for doing this. Me and my girlfriends are doing the same thing. They're, doing, they're moving to a different country. And I, and I applaud that. See, get, let me get one thing straight. I don't hate women. I don't hate women at all. In fact, I love women. The fact is, what I'm sick and tired of and I dislike is a system that is enabling bad behaviors from women. That's what I don't like because what you produce in that system is a woman that nobody wants, is a woman that is not valuable. See, what we're doing is we're taking a, what was a small minority of women and we're putting them on pedestals and telling average women that you should look up to this. And it's absolutely disgusting. Listen, I saw a, a, a comment or a video the other day about this, this hawk tour girl. And I, I couldn't even bring myself to watch it. I couldn't because I knew that it was going to be the most unvaluable piece of information that I've, I've witnessed that day. And this is what, this is what exactly what it is I'm tired of. What are we doing as a society? And so when I decided to say, you know what, I'm done here. I'm, I'm walking away. Somebody said, Oh no, bro, you can walk away and still be here. What's the point of that? I don't want to be, I don't want to have front row seats and, and I don't want to be inside of a house as it's burning down. I want to be far away and look in the distance and say, what is that smoke? And then continue to do what it, whatever it is that I want to do. That's the issue. That's the problem. And see, that, that's when I realized that the people who, who are still stuck in the system, who love this system, who want this system to work, that's fine. Do what you got to do. But I'm noticing that the com there's always a, a, a difference in comments between those people. People want me to stay. People want me to work on myself. People want me to do these things. Listen, nobody said I wasn't working on myself. Nobody said I wasn't getting, I wasn't getting to my dreams or my goals or my aspirations. I just don't look the way that you want me to look. I just don't attack it the way that you want me to attack it. And again, that's where I start to realize people's true colors because if you're not doing it a specific way, if you're not doing it the way they want you to do it, all of a sudden, that's when they start getting mad. That's when they don't want to be your friend anymore. That's when they want to unsubscribe. That's when they want to do all this other stuff. They want to talk bad about you. you want to leave nasty comments. That's when it happens because I no longer want to do things the way that a group of people who don't even know me, who don't even understand my plan, who don't know what I like, who don't know my dislikes. I no longer want to appease those individuals. 
and they're making me the bad guy for that. Of course you are, because you want me to act in a way that is beneficial to you and not to me. And I'm sick and tired of that life. And a lot of men are waking up and realizing that, wait a minute, these people don't actually care about me. They care about themselves. They care about their own dreams. They care about their own goals. They care about their own aspirations. And you think that that's how the world operates, but that's not how the world operates. That's how this society operates. That's how Western societies are operating. Because again, they have to, they feel like they have to step on other people in order to get the things that they want. And that's not true at all. See, when you go out the country, you go to different countries, you get such a huge culture shock because when you're talking to somebody, you realize they don't want anything other than to have a conversation with you. Now, again, nobody's saying don't use discernment. Nobody's saying that when you go to these different countries that everybody's going to be perfect. That's not true at all, right? There's going to be bad apples in a bunch of, no matter where you go. But here's the difference. When I'm here, when I'm in Western societies, when I pick up a bag of apples, a bag of 10 apples, eight of those apples are rotten. I don't want the bag. So, But when I go to these different countries and I pick up a bag of apples, maybe one is bruised. Maybe two are rotten. See, that's the thing. It's like, I'm not looking for a place where it's going to be perfect 24-7. I'm not naive. But again, I recognize the difference between a, a, a one bad apple in a group of 10 versus eight bad apples in a group of 10. And I decide, I say, you know what? I would rather be with the, the group that has nine good apples than the group that only has two. This is why a lot of men can't find uh, other like-minded men to be on the same page with them. Because all of a sudden, when you think you found somebody, a woman comes around and that guy starts to throw you under a bus for a woman. Where's the values? Where's the morals? You're going to cross a friendship over a woman is absolutely insane. As soon as you introduce money, as soon as you introduce the, 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 uh, uh, the opportunity to get power, the, the moment you introduce a uh, 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 coochie women, all of a sudden people change. And I think that is so sad because when you go to these different places, you realize that these people don't want anything from you because they're already content with what they have. And so as a man, my world has opened up. I feel so bright eyed I feel so optimistic about the future because I realize that the world is my oyster. The, the world is so open. And again, don't use your age as an excuse as to why you can't feel this way. I was talking to a guy the other day. He was 50 something years old, 52, I want to say. And he moved to the Philippines, sold his house, gave up on the American dream, went to the Philippines. And he said he's living happier than he's ever lived. Got himself a long term girlfriend and everything. This is what I'm talking about. Again, it's not, it's not that you're trying to find this perfect place. You're trying to find a perfect place for you. And as a man, you realize that you are capable of making things happen, making things shake. And no matter what age you are, whether you're in your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, you can make something happen. And as long as you're surrounding yourself with the right group of people, you have the content that's that's always feeding your brain, feeding your mind, telling you that it's possible, and you're willing to invest in yourself, there's nothing in the world that you can't do as a man. And as I realize that, as I realize, as I step into my power, I'm realizing that, yeah, this is exactly what it is that I want. And the confirmation that I'm getting from all these comments of these older guys saying, yeah, I wish I knew that at that age. This is the truth. This is all the things. And of course, I appreciate all the guys have been donating to me. I really appreciate that. But that's what I'm saying. This is what you don't realize. The moment you find a community of men that says we can do this, all of a sudden your world changes. My, my view of the world has been so much happier, even though I live in a place where I truly don't like, I truly want to leave. But the, 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 the power of hope, the power of me being a, a man that's able to get things done has been fueling me like no other. And now that I've made that transition to say, I'm taking all of my power back, I'm taking my power back and I'm using it for me and the people that I choose to bless in their life, that's when everything started getting more easier for me. That's when. So again, I want you guys to be on this journey. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Look, watch this journey, man, because this is something that I really, I feel like this is going to work out. And again, I don't feel it. I, I know this is going to work out because anything that you attack as a man that you're willing to stay consistent, what you're willing to stay dedicated on is going to happen. It's impossible for it not to happen because everything that you see around you was done by a, a man or a group of men who decided that they're not going to stop until it's finished. So listen, man, like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you relate to anything that I'm saying, put that down in the comments. And if you made it this far, type in going my own way. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace out.